Most Americans will get a tax cut next year under the plan Congress passed this week. But figuring out exactly how much your family will save is tricky. Republicans say a typical family of four earning $73,000 a year will see taxes drop by more than $2,000. We wanted to see how folks will actually fare. So we asked households from three different parts of the country to send us their tax returns. And then we had an accountant calculate how things will change for each of them. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. As Republicans sent the tax bill to the White House, Marcy George wondered if it would make a difference in her house. It didn't seem as they were going along that it would really affect someone like me. A single mother who rents a home in Cary, North Carolina, her income last year as an administrative assistant was a little under $40,000. Financially, I struggle. I live paycheck to paycheck. I make things work. I readjust and rearrange, but I, um, we do get by. So will getting by get any easier? We brought her 2016 tax return to Jeffrey Levine, a certified public accountant at Blueprint Wealth Alliance on New York's Long Island. If she were your client, what would you tell her? I got good news for you, Marcy. You're getting more money back next year. He says she'll benefit from a doubling of the child tax credit and based on her returns last year, he estimates a savings of about $1,300 in taxes. That would be more that I would be seeing um, in each paycheck, so that would be a good thing. Amber and Jason Edwards were also hoping for some good news. You know, I hope it alleviates, you know, pressure on the middle class. Whether it does or not, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. They're married homeowners with no kids in Providence, Rhode Island. As college educators, they took in more than $150,000 last year as they worked to pay down their student loans. Financially, we're, you know, we're, we're doing okay. We're certainly, you know, uh, not at the poverty level or anything of that nature. Jason, who blogs about their finances, wanted to know how things would change. I actually think they would pay tax on about $12,000 more of income, but because of the lower rates, they actually end up saving a little bit of money. The Vine says the couple will switch to the newly increased standard deduction, which means a simpler return with no itemized deductions. He thinks they'd owe about $650 less than before. Honestly, I'm a little surprised because, well, what you had said Initially, you thought we were going to have a higher tax bill. Right. They're not the only ones. Melissa and Lane Lev also express concern about next year's taxes. I'm thinking they're going to be higher. Um, and by how much, I don't know if I could answer that. I'm just thinking they're going to be higher. Married with three children, they own a home in Fresno, California. They opened a cycle studio last year, and Melissa is a pharmaceutical sales rep. Their combined income in 2016 was around $300,000. We were doing well enough to take a risk and open up a small business in our town. It's definitely hard work and uh, definitely a lot of stress when, when we have uh, you know, so much of our worth on the line, so to speak. Lane and Melissa are from California, very high income tax state. So there are a lot of people worried oh my goodness, this is, this is really going to hurt me. They thought it was going to be a big bill. I'm not surprised. It actually is really going to help them, though. Levine says their itemized deductions, including breaks for state and local taxes, will be much lower. But they'll no longer be hit with the alternative minimum tax and will now qualify for child tax credits when they didn't before. Overall, he estimates they'll be responsible for nearly $13,000 less in taxes. Well, that's good. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Can I get the accountant's number after this? <laughs> so wait a minute, so all three families that we brought to you, they're all going to see a decrease in their taxes. Every single one of those families will have more money in their pocket next year.